Hi friends, welcome back. In previous sessions, we have discussed how to consume Web API in ASP.NET Core MVC application and how to read, insert and update the data we have explained in previous sessions. In today's session, we are going to perform delete operation in ASP.NET Core MVC application by consuming Web API. Whenever user clicks on this delete button, we have to show the confirmation message. Once user is confirmed, we have to delete that record. So this is our MVC application. I'm going to control us. This is product controller, which we are using for consuming the API and performing crowd operations in MVC application. Here I'm going to create one new action method for deletion. This is going to be get method. Here also we are going to read the data based on the product ID. I am passing input parameter as ID. Here I am going to get the data from API. Here we have to pass base address along with the controller name and action method. Here I am passing product is my controller name and my action method name is get and here I have to pass the product id to get the data. Here I will get the result from the API. If response dot is status code is true then i am going to return the data i'll get the data as json format here i have to deserialize the json data into our product v model Here we have to pause the product view model to deserialize and along with this we have to pause the JSON data. So finally we are going to return this data to view. I will keep this inside try catch block. Here if there is any error we are going to display the message in this error method. Also we need post action method for deletion. Whenever user confirms the deletion then we have to post the data to API and it will be deleted. For that I am going to create one more action method here. This is going to be post Here I am going to make it as delete confirmed. Here we are going to pass the id as input parameter. Along with this we have to pass the action name. We are going to use it action name for post and get as delete. So I am passing the action name along with this post action method. Here I am going to delete the data. I am going to call delete async 
and here I'll pass the base address along with this I'm going to pass product controller as well as delete action method we have to pass I'll check that action name go to the API this is my API controller and this is the action method for deletion I'll use this and here we have to pass the product ID also here we will get the result from the API you have to check response dot this is going to be response message here we will get the e status code if it is true I am going to redirect to index view this block also I'll keep it inside try catch if there is any exception I'm going to catch it and I'll display in the bootstrap alert suppose if it is status code is true then I'm going to display the success message like here we showed in the update action method if it is successfully deleted I'm going to display the product details deleted so we have completed both get and post action methods and we assigned the EAP base address along with the controller name and action method I'll run the application now now our AP and MVC application both are running if you are not aware how to consume the web API we have explained in previous sessions I am going to call product controller here so I am going to click on delete here I am getting error delete was not found ok we have not created any view for deletion so we have created action methods like get and post we have not created the view that is the error we are getting here we'll go to the delete right click on the delete action method which is get add view click on add i'm going to select the template as delete here i'll select the model class product view model click on add it will generate the view for us so view has been generated I'll run the application I'll access the product controller click on delete here user has to confirm the deletion I'm clicking on delete so it's not deleting we will check the API whether we have provided the proper URI or not so this is api slash product slash delete whereas inside our product controller we will check how we are posing the data here we are posing as delete this is not required i'll run the application I'll click on delete so data also not loading here so delete somewhere we are doing mistake here okay here we have to add the slash here there is a typo error in product controller I am correcting that and I'll check it here here it's correct I'll run the application I 
I'll try to delete this record click on delete so product details are displaying here and it's expecting the user confirmation I'll confirm here by clicking on delete button so it's not deleting we will see what is happening here delete here this is the API URL delete a sync product slash delete and here we are pausing the ID so inside our uh, delete action method in our API controller we will add the ID parameter also I will copy this and this is our delete action method I am going to pause ID also now this same parameter we are going to pause here I corrected in API here I will pause delete slash that ID on the application I'm confirming the deletion here so product details deleted so this product has been removed from the list and we can check in the database also earlier we had two products now I'm going to execute the select query execute that second record has been deleted we will try to delete this record also I'll delete this one also click on delete product details deleted we don't have any products here I'll check in the database so that product is deleted here so like this we can consume the API in ASP.NET Core MVC application and we can implement the crowd operations so that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching